Luckily, his handwriting doesn't give any clues to the complexity and achievement of his programming. I think it was in second grade. I'll show you that one. Would you like to see it? Sure. All right. Oh, Like, bursts out onto the screen and then goes back in. We call that a home. A home? Yes, that means, like, that the middle of the screen, like, is its home, and it tells it, like, to come home. And no higher than a 127. What number? About 55. Speed limit. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. See, you see the planes and the trucks, then the rockets and the balls, and then the squares. And it's really neat. Objects whizzing around the screen give this generation of children experience never before available. Children learn by experience of the world around them. That was the message of the Swiss educationist Jean Piaget. And hearing it, schools brought everyday objects into the classroom creating a revolution in the education of young children. Crayon, glue, cardboard, blocks. These are the standard building materials from which children build their minds. Papert worked with Piaget and realized that the computer should come in along with the mud pies. Whereas what we really have to think about is what produces involvement, engagement, what grabs the individual. And so it's much more related to love than to logic. It's much more related to how you see yourself as fitting into the social and cultural fabric, including how you see television. Is it something that's being done to you or something that you want to appropriate? Plastic robots. Arrows on screens, hyperactive sprites, all belong to the same turtle family. They all obey the same commands. By getting to know these turtles as they get to know a person, these children are learning to be mathematicians. This is Piaget's real message. Learning rooted in experience. Forward 60. Right turn. Forward 60 again. The turtle is giving the children a feeling for the properties of an angle. They experience an abstract concept. The body-centered commands of Logo are closely related to the natural way we move. The essential point about the turtle is its role as a transitional object. That is, a transitional between the body, the self, and abstract mathematical ideas. The turtle can be, you can identify it, with it, you can move your body in order to guess how to command the turtle. So it's related to you, to the body, to the human, and it's also related to mathematical ideas because its structure is such that it captures some extremely powerful geometric and physical ideas. Watch how this turtle moves and draws as it goes. At the heart of the geometry of physics is the combination of movements. The maths room at Crabtree Primary was the first classroom in England to have a turtle. It encourages talk about maths. We all accept that we learn French easily in France, so why not maths in maths land? Learning is so much more difficult from a textbook. Papert asks why half the population are maths phobics, afraid of numbers, woolly-headed about abstract concepts. Today, the girls are programming the turtle to draw dice. They've got the outline. Now they're experimenting with shapes. They're trying to decide what would be the best shape for the spots. But how does the turtle help them with their maths? Teacher Beryl Maxwell. The great thing is it does provide a mathematical environment for the children. And while the children are working around the turtle, if you listen to the things that they're talking about, it's all mathematical. And I think verbalization in mathematics is very important. 
And I think that half of our problems with mathematics teaching is because children don't communicate mathematically, talk about mathematics, and actually experience mathematical problems. Oh, no. What were you intending to do then? I've got Shirley to get a hexagon. Oh, you want a hexagon? Yes. Why do you want a hexagon?